Hey, what's up, Cardinals? My name is Chris. And I'm Julia, and you're watching Flock Talk. Talk. Do you remember last week when you had those students bobbing for apples? Yeah, that was really out of nowhere. Well, we're back with even more apples, but this time, pies. Why so many apples? I love apples! apples! Hi, everybody. I'm Toby. I'm here with... Jahida. Lewis. And we're going to be eating apple pies. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Are we feeling okay, Jahida? <laughs> yeah. Lewis, how we doing? I'm good. Good, good. I'm good. Nobody's dying around here. Oh, we have a champion! Yeah! Woo! We have a champion in our in our apple pie eating contest. We'll get to you in a minute, Lewis. Jahada, how do you feel? I'm stuffed. You don't want any more of it? No. All right. How 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 are we feeling? I'm good. Yeah. Very sticky. How are you feeling? How are you doing? It's all up my nose. Would you do this again? Absolutely, I would. Yeah. W would you do this again? Sure. <laughs> Wonderful. You know, Julia, I think I'm really starting to like these apple segments. That's great, because there's only more to come. Do you think there are in, like, any apple clubs? No, definitely not. No. no. Are you sure? Yeah, last Friday was our involvement fair, so check this out. Involvement time! Our involvement fair was last Friday. A bunch of sports and extracurriculars showed up with highlights from the cheerleading shindig, the wrestling team's soda and pizza, student council's Milky Ways and Three Musketeers, and sound effects club's zany... sound effects. We're also proud to announce three new clubs joining TWHS. Spikeball Club, whose first meeting was Wednesday, Improv Club, who met this Thursday, and Brunch Club, who meets this Tuesday morning in room 246, 7.45 a.m. Clubs and sports are a great way to make connections and have a memorable high school experience. And if you have an idea for a club of your own, go right ahead. All you need is a dream and a staff advisor. So cards, get out there. Get involved. So, are you planning on joining any clubs this year? Maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, well, there's always sports, you know. Speaking of which, here's Sports Report. Yo, Toby. Yeah. Is that what I think it is? Hold on. Is that the Sports Report? I think that is Sports Report. On September 8th, the girls' varsity golf team competed in a tri match with Westerville South and Marysville, coming in third place with a score of 252. Monday, the girls competed in an OCC League match at Oak Haven, claiming top place with a score of 425. Well done, ladies. The girls' varsity tennis team played Eastmore Academy on Tuesday, claiming the victory 4 1. Last night, the team hosted Newark High School. We will have those results next time. Last Thursday, the girls varsity volleyball team took on Olentangy High School, falling to the Braves 0-3. On Saturday, they competed in the Wayne Roller Tournament at Peck North, competing in three matches, beating Westland 2-0. On Tuesday, the girls traveled to Marysville, falling to the Monarchs 2-3 in a tough five-set match. Last night, the team competed against Hilliard Darby. We will have those scores for you next week. On September 8th, the varsity field hockey team played Columbus Academy, winning 2-1 over the Vikings. Goals were scored by Lauren Beyer and Sofia Borghese with an incredible save by Mia Kavinsky. On Saturday, the Cards took on Hathaway Brown, defeating the Blazers a whopping 8-0. Way to go, ladies. Wednesday, the team played a tough Olin Tangier Liberty, falling 2-3 to the Patriots in overtime. The team takes on Hudson tomorrow. Best of luck. The boys' varsity soccer team defended their home turf in last Thursday's rival game against Worthington Kilbourne. The Cardinals defeated the Wolves 2-1 with goals scored by Sam and Herman. On Tuesday, the team traveled to Dublin Jerome where they battled to the finish, losing 1-2 to the Celtics. Last night, the team played St. Francis de Sales. We'll have those scores for you next week. 
In another Rival Week matchup, the girls varsity soccer team played Worthington Kilbourne, falling to the Wolves 0-2. On Tuesday, the girls took on a tough t Dublin Jerome, falling to the Celtics 0-4. Last night, they played Hilliard-Davidson. We'll have those results for you next week. Last weekend, the boys' water polo team competed in the Ohio Cup at Worthington Pools. In an exciting first game finish, the Cards beat Milford 15-14 and won 13-6 over Napoleon. Ultimately, the team placed 8th out of 16 tough programs. This weekend, the team travels to Bowling Green for the Wild Night Invite. Good luck. The girls' water polo team competed in the Princeton Invitational over the weekend. They fell to Upper Arlington 8-14 lost a tough match against Worthington Kilbourne 7-9, but crushed the Mavs 12-2. This weekend, the girls compete in the Ohio Cup at the Worthington Pools. Stop over and show your support. On September 2nd, the varsity football team took on Newark High School, annihilating the Wildcats 42-0. Francis Brew had 9 tackles, including 5 tackles for loss and 3 sacks. Jaden Fields had 12 carries for 135 yards and a touchdown, and 5 catches for 63 yards and 2 touchdowns. The pride of Cardinal Country had yet Another amazing halftime performance along with some KMS 8th grade band guests. Way to go. Last weekend, the boys' cross-country team competed in the Worcester Invitational, coming in ninth out of 25 teams with top performances by Mulu Ferguson and Owen Hedberg. The girls' cross-country team placed 15th, scoring 348 with top performances by Elena Smolin, Annalise Steele, and Mary Darling. Way to go, cards. This weekend, both teams traveled to Cedarville for the friendship meet. Best of luck to all. On Saturday, the boys' varsity golf team com competed in the St. Charles Invitational at Brookside Country Club, finishing 15th out of 20. On Wednesday, they competed in the OCC No. 4 tournament at Darby Creek, placing third. Lead scorers were Jack Flores with 78 and Jack Marsh with 80 points. Tomorrow, the boys play in the Howlett Invitational on Worthington Hills Golf Course. Head out to quietly cheer them on. Interested in playing a winter or spring sport? Make sure you're signed up on final form so coaches can keep you in the loop. See Mrs. Lee in the main office with any question. I mean, I get... I guess you've, you've watched Sports Report. Tune in next time for more updates. See ya. Well, that's all we have for this week, Cardinals. Oh, if you ever have any life questions, make sure you look at our social media right here and ask Gavin. See you next week, and remember, it's, it's always, always a great, great day, day to be a Cardinal. Cardinal.